Hello everyone, it's Keisha. Today I'm going to share with you how I store my stencils, store-bought and the one I make myself. This is one that I made myself. I doodled away on a piece of paper and filled in the rest with some little odds and ends. Then, got to find out if this is the right one. Then I cut it out out of a uh, page divider from the dollar store and I stencil it out. And here are the leftovers that I can use as masks or as other doodle things on something or not. So what I do is I take my stencil and the page that I drew on first and I slide them in a page divider. Let me see if it's the right one. Yes, the right one. Nope, in a page protector. There, and this one goes on this side so that it shows what it looks like once it's stenciled out. So and here, I ha here I have one that I did with kind of leaf-like shape and this is how it looks. These are basically background stencils. And all rectangles, diamonds, and I leave the, I keep the leftovers in a plastic bag just for future use. And the rest is all store-bought stencils. And because there's a colored page behind it, I can see clearly what it is and what I'm looking for. Now here the stencil itself is clear so that I don't see it very, you don't see it very well, but these are just the letters and the numbers. So this is how I store my stencils. And I don't have a lot of wooden stamps, so they just go in one box. And the silicone stamps are stored. And this is one that I made myself from cardboard. You just take off a layer of paper and then you have a line. Cardboard comes in very handy when you make uh, junk journals. And here I just store them also in page protectors, one or two at a time, depending. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot, lot, but plenty enough for me to draw from when I need something. Well, that was it for today. Short and sweet. And well, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Talk later. Bye.